Blah. 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 Ubisoft. Ubisoft. No. <laughs> It starts with him. Yep. There's a great deal of history that you should know. But I'm afraid that I must continue my writing. Here. Most of what you need to know is in there. Keep it well hidden. reasons you'll discover. I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book. I can't have done it. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid. Capture again. You found Catherine. A signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. Oh, I'm wrong. Dunny and Riven are two different things. Hmm. Did Dunny invade Riven? No, nah, I think Dunny is an age. Oh. Okay. There's also a chance if this all goes well. I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. Locked up forever. The end. Right off the bat, locked up in her ass. What's up, Pooh? What you want, Pooh? Watch where you're going, Pooh. Nah, foo. No, don't take my book. Why did he want the book so bad? Did he know about the book? I can't remember. He got killed though. Whoops. Genocidal maniac coming on through. Blah. He was slowly dragged off screen.
Okay, so when you get that book back, um, don't open it and like touch on it because it is a trap book. Oh no! You can immediately trap yourself. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Like you can automatic have an automatic uh, auto auto law auto loss. Yeah. Okay. Wait, where's the resume? Oh, the resume's in the middle. What? So you can actually go over here and look down and see the dead guy. They tried to throw them off the cliff, but they are horrible. Yeah, they weren't so good. He was heavy. Where's that switch? Yep, so he kind of made it impossible to use that ever again. Sad. So this thing's very important. I can't even open it, so... Hmm. There are multiple endings to this. I so imagine. You have to... You have to save Catherine. You have to make sure that the genocidal grandfather gets trapped in the book. Or he will kill you. Like, later on. Yeah. Catherine needs to be free, or she something bad will happen to her. Her? And I think that's it. That's a cliff. So I'm hoping I'm wrong about the whole learning a new language thing. Because maybe my memory is just befuddled. Like, maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. And I hope that's the case. How likely is that the case? Ah, that's a good 50% 50, 50 chance. Alright, so this is locked. But did you know you can just go underneath it? <laughs> well... Apparently they didn't. <laughs> Our impenetrable fortress will never be defeated. <laughs> Alright, so this is what... This is what Atreus gives you. I, th I think his name's Atreus, I forget. It basically gives you information on Riven. A lot of information. So the father of Atreus, I think, is the one that created Riven. There is a lot of things in here. See, when Atris writes, he, like, writes forever. And it never stops. Dear God. I am not reading all this. He wrote you a novel. Yeah, it's like, it, it's kind of helpful, kind of not. Okay, so you can flip on these, and I'm not sure why. This does have meaning. This is, again, the grandfather. Yeah, the grandfather? Yeah, I'm not sure who this is.
So I, I looked at this one, right? I think he basically take control. He took control over like a god in this place. So you cannot just outright get him because he took over like a god. Yeah, I'd imagine they got magic powers and all that. Yeah, he basically said I can do whatever I want because I can write books that create things. I can write books to create universes. Yep. Okay, so when I go to the right, then I can just look at the next one. And that's why he's a dangerous weirdo. Evil. Okay, so if I come out to here. Also, this was on the original PlayStation, and it was separated into five different discs. Dear God. Each disc represents a different island on the Island of Mist. And I can't. Should change the disc every time you went to a different island? Yes. Every single time. That sounds incredibly, like, time-consuming. Okay, so you see this, uh, this rotates, right? What do you think I need to do? The whole room rotates? Yes. There's probably a secret spot, right? Yeah, so what you do is you look through the people to see if the other door is open, and then you go down into the secret entrance to actually get where you need to go. As it's like you can't enter from this way you already know you can enter from a different way now the problem is I don't know if I remember if there's like more I don't know, levers or whatever that I'm missing that I gotta press. Here's a possibility that I do. Like, there's probably another lever I gotta press somewhere before I can even do this. Uh, seems the kind of way we're gonna... Yeah, this is super important though. Yep, so there's something else I need to do first. Okay, let's just get out of there. Can I approach the ledge? No.
All right, let's just get out of here. Might be something else. Like the, I, I remember a lever somewhere. Probably less important right now. Sure. I'll get into it. What is this? That opened something. Actually, I'll be back. I'm gonna go look around first. I forget what the mode of transportation between islands is, and I'm just wondering if that'll bring me to another island. Okay, so this is the motor transportation. That's for sure. Okay, so I do want to go to that one thing. Was that a switch? No, that's the door. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. So Riven is weird in the way that a lot of things are like hidden right off the bat. It'll give you like this weird, like I'm very lost feeling.
Alright, so we're gonna go on to island number two. So this is actually very important. A lot of the puzzles in Riven are like pieced together. That symbol that's on the back of it, I believe is a number. That one looks like an eye right there. Yep. So it's an I and some number that we do not know how to translate. I'm getting scared of your, uh, your uh, hypothesis that it's going to be a language you have to learn might be coming true. Yeah. <laughs> down to the beach my rock now nerds get on the rock it's turtle rock There's another one. He gets a lot better with like Exile, because Exile they like, they're a lot more lenient on, you know, puzzles. I've always thought of that as like an alarm. The inhabitants don't want to see you. They alarm each other. Don't talk to this nerd. I don't like you.
This is for later when you're able to get the sub. That's a mine card I could jump into. Hmm. See, whenever you approach, the villagers run. They don't want. Will they to... actually come after you? They're just like super duper scared. <laughs> 